Welcome to Humble Filmmaking, at least for now. I'm your host, Avery, and today we're taking a look at another piece of equipment for video editing. This time we're taking a look at the Contour Shuttle Express. This is another device that is very similar to the tour box that I took out last time, which I'm still testing out. It's right here. But the Contour Shuttle Wheel is basically more of a shuttle wheel and less buttons and stuff. It still does have five programmable buttons, but it has a much bigger dial and shuttle wheel, so hopefully um, it's a little better. I ordered these both at the same time. They came in a couple days apart, so I'm basically gonna be testing them at the same time, but I figured I would bring you another little first impressions video of getting it out of the box and getting it set up. So this box is a little less impressive, but that's completely fine. And again, we're on the iPhone unboxing because I'm lazy. Got the little first flap open really easily. And it looks like it all just pulls out like that. Could be hanging on the thing at the store. I don't know what store would sell this, but it looks like it just opens like this. And boom, there's the wheel. So you see that you have a wheel here that is not like a free wheel. It like clicks. And then you also have this dial that's going to like go and then you can let go and it releases. I think you can kind of, you can kind of see that. And then this stays where you leave it. And then you have the five programmable buttons around the top. Again, this is just going to be USB straight to the computer. I believe this also requires software to work. And then the only other things in the box are a quick introduction to the shuttle, which is also going to, looks like, tell you how to download the software, uh, yeah, how to get the drivers, and then it just talks a little bit about settings. So that's it for the unboxing experience. Nothing too crazy. This does feel pretty good so far. It is also much larger. I can kind of put it next to the, the wheels on the tour box. You see that the wheel itself is much larger and uh, I'm really excited to take a look at this shuttle wheel. Let's uh, get it plugged in and we'll see how it works. All right, so I've got it set up now. The software software is pretty darn easy to use. As you see here, it just shows all different five buttons. Jog left, jog right is the circle or the wheel in the middle. And then you have shuttle in left and you have seven points of that. So all the way from barely moving it all the way to fully torqued to the left. And then you have centered, which is going to do nothing in this case. And then again, you have the same exact thing to the right in seven positions as well. And you also have things that you can set up to transition between the different points. There's nothing set up there by default. So by default, I haven't changed anything yet. And this is what all these buttons do. So I think you're kind of meant to hold it like this. There's little grooves for your fingers in each of the, the three spots there. So I think you're kind of meant to hold it like this. And it's pretty cool. So basically, here, here's what we have. So the button in the middle is going to play. He knows the combos are- And pause. The button on the right is going to jog right. <laughs> And, you know, tapping multiple times is going to make it go faster. And then the button on the left, obviously, is going to jog left. <laughs> and again, you press the button multiple times, and it goes multiple times. For some reason, these are set to up and down arrow key. But for some reason, the, the right one isn't doing anything, and the left one is causing a save to happen. So I'm not really sure because these are set to up and down arrow keys, which should, like this that is also set to up and down arrow keys, should go between edits like this. But for some reason, left is causing it to save and le uh, the right one is doing nothing. But let let's talk about the wheels. So the wheel in the middle is going to go frame by frame. <laughs> so you see that here. And then this wheel here, if I start t turning it, you'll see it start to go, you know, kind of frame by frame. And then I can speed it up and it'll start going a bit faster. And that's the max speed. And then I let go, it stops. Or I can like go as fast and then slow it down. And then the same thing left is just going to go backwards and the same thing. So that's pretty nifty. I really like these three buttons set up um, for, for the jogging. I think that'd be pretty helpful for rough cuts. And I think that's where devices like this are gonna help the most is in the rough cut phase when you're doing a lot of repeated motions. When you're in a phase of editing where you're adding presets and doing, you know, exporting out to After Effects and stuff like that, I think devices like these are a lot less useful. But anything to help the workflow at any point in the process is worth looking into. And this is a lot cheaper than this, but this obviously has a bit more functionality right off the gate. 
However, I'm definitely very happy with this. I think that uh, the wheel is definitely a lot better and you can definitely set it to do stuff for color as well. Um, I think that's also one of the best features of devices like this is its ability to make color correction something physical. And um, I'm pretty happy with both these devices. Uh, I might end up keeping both of them and seeing where they can both fit into my workflow. But now the haul kind of looks like Stream Deck, which is mostly used for presets. The Tour Box, which is currently set up pretty much default. I haven't really changed much. I, I really like this wheel, how it how it moves quicker than this one. So I might try to I might try to set this one up to be the same as this one because I like the size and the feel of this wheel better. But the functionality of this one seems stronger. So definitely really powerful so far. I am definitely excited to see where I can take this and use both of these products. And again, just like with the tour box, I will do a follow up video on the shuttle express, what I like about it, what I might not like about it, how it ends up maybe fitting into my workflow long term, or maybe it doesn't fit into my workflow long term and I end up getting rid of it or returning it. That's just a matter of using it for a few weeks and seeing how I think about it. So yeah, there'll be a link to check out the Shuttle Express as well as a link to the video I did about the Tour Box. These are very similar products that basically do the same exact thing, but I wanted to get multiple to, to kind of compare them and see where the strengths and weaknesses are between different products like this. And so far, I'm liking the Shuttle Express just a little bit more. I kind of like its form factor and the wheels. Both of the wheels are definitely better, mostly because of the size. I like the size better on the Shuttle Express. But more to come, especially on both of these products, but as well as a lot of other editing content. And if you guys enjoyed this one, a like would be greatly appreciated, as well as subscribing down below would help me out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, do the right thing, good vibes only, and never stop creating. Peace.